Hey, Richard, congratulations today. Uh, after the uh, first part of your career where you were having trouble getting interceptions, that was just two straight games in a row for you where you had two picks in each one. Uh, is this just a matter of just confidence? I mean, you being down in the upper class, man, knowing what's going on is a uh, um, success? Yeah, that's, a, that's, you know, a reason. And also um, the pressure that we're getting up front, man, them guys that front uh, – that we have our linebackers and D line, they're getting after the quarterback, getting in that rush, being able to uh, make the quarterback react faster and, and make you no know, make throws, you know, that uh, put the ball in the air and, and able to make those 50 50 balls, you know, and I, uh, as a safety, you know, as a, def a defensive back, you got to be able to, to go take it. Next question will go to uh, Dean Leggy. Richard, I know y'all. I know you had a couple of picks today or whatever turnovers. What happened though on the blown coverage? What looked like blown coverage to me, at least? Um, we just had, you know, a little mix up um, on the communication end. You know, um, first game out, man. We we got that handled immediately. You know, next time we seen it, we handled it uh, 100%. So you know, uh, it's something you know that's gonna happen. You playing a lot of football. Any uh, thing that you do, you're going to have mistakes. But, you know, the best thing that we were able to do was correct our mistakes, got our communication back together, and got this uh, defense back on the road. Next question will go to uh, Seth Emerson. Richard, what was, what was it like winning a game like that again? Um, uh, seemed like the same formula as a lot of last year. Great defense and kind of waiting for the offense. To no, nah, man, uh, you know. Uh, we work hand in hand. Our offense is only as good as our defense. So we we just you know playing ball, man. Uh, this is our first game, you know, since the bowl game. So we, we expect some mistakes. Um, we're here to wake up tomorrow, go you know uh, get those mistakes handled, get ready for our next opponent. You know, I'm not worried about anything that happened on any side of the ball because I know you know these are the best players that we have here in the nation. So we're gonna play football here. I will next go to uh, to Mark Weiser. Hey, Richard, congratulations on the win. Can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear you great. All right, I'm in the, I'm the press box hearing some music out here. Um, I wanted to ask you kind of what's your takeaway as you guys head home and, and uh, you have Auburn and Tennessee and Alabama. How much better do you guys think you need to be, um, you know, as the schedule picks up like that? Oh, man, we, we're going to get, you know, we're going to get it, man. Um, we got a lot of guys that's dedicated to winning. Um, able to come in and all throughout the week. Good, great, uh, great film going. Everything that, that we need to uh, put the defense in a great place, we, 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 we're down for it. You know, um, I've never seen a group of guys that's so relentless and, and, and ready to win and, and listen to anything that our coach is able to say. And that's a great formula for a great defense and also for a great team. Uh, next question will go to uh, Augusta Stone. Hey, Richard, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. Um, I wanted to ask you, kind of, when you got that interception, did it feel kind of like a turning point for you in the game where Georgia really took over? And if it wasn't that moment for you, what do you think the turning point of the game was? I mean, when we came in, you know, uh, during halftime, you know, everybody was still, you know, positive. Everything was still, you know, we, we're going to win this football game. And I think the turning point was mentally we were able to keep our head on. Um, come out in the second half with a new mindset, 0-0, zero, zero, and play the ball that we know for at Georgia to play, man. You know, uh, like I said earlier, you know, it's our first game, and God knows long, how long, you know. Um, so it's just a lot of things that we had to fix, and we were able to fix it, man. And, and I'm so proud of these guys and the way we came out, played football, stayed together. Uh, no matter what, we, we still fight. That's something that we do here at Georgia. Thank you. No problem. For our next question, we'll go to Brandon Sudge at the Macon Telegraph. Brandon. Hey, uh, so, so I want to ask you about uh, that, that, this, that's in his performance kind of coming in late. Does it, did it surprise you at all that he was able to pick things up like he did? And was there anything throughout practice this fall that you saw from him that showed you that he was capable of that? I don't know. You know, no matter what quarterback that we put out there, you know, we're behind 100%, man. A uh, little background about me and Stetson. You know, we, we grew up uh, playing football against each other. He was at Pierce County. I was at Liberty. So, I, you know, I seen him, uh, you know, throw the ball around, sling it a lot. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of his. I'm a big fan of every quarterback that we got. And no matter who we put out there, man, we're able to win ball games. Man. Thanks, Richard. Appreciate your time, buddy. Congratulations no on the win.